the VMAX has been around a while, either under Yamaha directly, or under Yamaha's made in the US cruiser line, Star Motorcycles. The 1,679cc engine houses mad performance with more than adequate power and torque to give the VMAX plenty of go and the big, dual six-piston calipers up front give it plenty of stop. The 2018 VMAX comes dressed to impress, so let's take a look at what the tuning fork company has in store for us this year. Much like the GSXR family from Suzuki, the VMAX holds a special place in my heart as the second bike to scare the crap out of me, and the first bike engine I grew to hate. Just to clarify, I didn't hate it cause it's a bad engine, not at all. I hated it cause at MMI it was our timing exercise model, and you had to turn it over 32 times to get everything aligned properly. That said, had I not been recently snake but by my Jixxer trip, I probably would have killed myself on a friend's VMAX, but even riding cautiously it almost got away from me. He combined 12 caliper pistons up front add up to a tremendous amount of braking power, so for once I am really glad to see ABS, cause this bike definitely needs it. An all aluminum chassis forms the bones with a cast aluminum diamond frame and swinger, and an extruded subframe to keep things nice and light. The fuel tank rides under the seat where it keeps the center of gravity low, and adds to the feeling of controllability at low speed, but I seriously question the wisdom of having to wave a gas hook over the seat at every fill up. Massive front forks add to the all up front look of the VMAX, and the 52mm, right side up forks float the front end on 4.7 inches of travel. The forks come with the usual preload and rebound, compression damping adjustments, and they combine with the 31 degree steering head for 5.8 inches of trail. A monoshock springs the swinger, and it comes fully adjustable through a remote mount air reservoir. The Yamaha chip controlled intake, YCCI, takes a page from MV Augusta's book as a means to shorten the length of the intake at high RPM, a feature that helps bring the power band on a little sooner, with a little more room. Now for the beating heart, the liquid cool. 102 cubic inch, 1,679 cc, power plant. Truly a chunk of engine, it comes in a V4 configuration that fills the wide frame completely, and it's anything but a boat anchor. The official word from the factory is 123 pound-feet of torque at 6,500 revolutions per minute, some 10 pounds greater than the daddy of this engine family that came out in 09. I have no official word on horsepower yet, but if I had to guess, I would say it's somewhere around the same 175 pony mark as the 09, or at least in the neighborhood thereof. You can ride off on a VMAX for $17,999 with a one-year limited warranty, but only in Rapid Red for 2017 or Matte Raven Black for 2018. Price and performance both seem to place this ride in the upgrade category, and would make a good ride for someone with some experience looking for a second, or third, ride. Thanks for watching.